representing Buxton Raceway, he's drawn grid place number 11. So welcome here to Chris. Chris, uh, nice to be here. How you like? And uh, wish you the best of luck. What's, what's your aim for this? Just finish is going to be hard enough, I think. Yeah, just definitely. Yeah. So well done. I hope you enjoy there. Chris Sykes, the first one on the grid. Normally a Buxton regular. And uh, a welcome there to Chris. So next driver coming through then into 129, the former World Dirt Champion. That's Dave Marsh. Raceway today, he's drawn grid position number 24. And welcome to Dave, you won the gold on the uh, dirt tracks, can you do it on the shale? Yeah, that's what I come here for. That's what he's come here for, so keep your eye on Dave Marsh. Next up then, representing RDC Promotions down there at Bilden Hall and Dover Raceways, it's 119, a former British champion, Cruncher Davy Cox. So no stranger to the Kings Lynn uh, Shaleway, can you win this World Champ Championship this afternoon, David? We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, he says. A lo local boy from uh, Swatham, David Cobb. So Cotton Jr. down there on the start-finish line. The man in pole position. Is pole position the best place to be? It's the after the race, aren't we? Yeah, it's going to be a case, I think, first bend. Hold on and enjoy the ride. And if you get round the first bend, who knows? Yeah, it'll be a good race. A lot of good drives here, mate. And uh, this one's for Bonham. That's right. And uh, can you follow in the footsteps of Dad? Dad's won it. Can you? Oh, no. Well, wish you the best of luck, so especially for Bonham. And... Uh, Coffee Jr. there going round on his uh, parade lap. So the next driver coming through then representing Wharton Raceway up there near Carlton. He's the current BBA World Cup champion which he won back in April at Camp Beat Racewall. Driving 5-1-0, Alan Lewis. So Alan, welcome to uh, Kings Lynn. You're representing Wharton. You've won the World Cup in Scotland. Well, can you win the uh, World Championship here at Kings Lynn on the shale? Very knobby some shield mate, I'll let you know I'm here the first time out on shields, maybe a laugh. It'll be a laugh, but I'm sure uh, if you're not going to win it, you might stop one or two others. I'm doing my best. Uh, well done, we wish you the best of luck there, Alan Lewis. So the next man coming out onto the raceway and he's driving a Lincoln Versailles, it's 461, a real Yank car specialist. 461, Peter Singleton representing a Wharton Raceway once again. So, uh, no stranger to uh, these parts is Peter Singleton, he's paid as many a visit. Welcome to Kings Lynn once again, Peter. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, and uh, we see you've come tilled up with another Yank. You like your Yanks, don't you? Yeah, it's got to be somewhat different. No, I'm figuring out. Yeah, is it fast enough to win? No. But is it hard enough to crash? Most definitely. No, most definitely. So there you go, it's not fast enough to win, but it's hard enough to crash. So we're wishing the best of luck. Peter Singleton. And Pete Singleton on row four on the outside, grid position number eight. Next driver then receiving his uh, commemorative plaque representing Stan Lake Arena down there in Oxfordshire, driving number two, an up and coming star at Banger Racing is John Bricknell. So uh, welcome to Kings Lynn, John, and looking forward to it. Yes, you can. Yeah, and uh, what's your aim? Win it or uh, have a crash? You want a car go See what the car goes like. We wish you the best of luck. We'll pass that forward to. Uh, your mechanics down there. So John Brickle then, he's on grid position number 23, and just in front of him, uh, grid position number 20, the other Stan Lake representative is winning, driving 54, Alan Cartwright. So representing Stan Lake, Alan Cartwright, known as Winnie, and he's got the Mark III Granada pinched to this one, yeah? Yeah, the one, yeah. yeah. And is it a racing machine or a cracking machine? What do you think? What do I think? What do you lot think? Should he crash it? Or should he race it? No, they say crash it. Will you oblige? No, well, if you've got to go on, we will. So we wish you the best of luck. Alan Cartwright there, known as Winnie, in the uh, Granada Minster. So, and coming up there, one of the TSR regulars in 701, Kevin Cooper, and a fantastic looking Mark 1 Granada there at one of our Smart Car Award winners. I'll hand you down to Richard for a quick word with Kev. And a quick word with Kevin, Mark 1 Granada, they're uh, getting few and far between. Very smart, but will it go as well as it looks? Probably not. Probably not. Well, wish you the best of luck, and he really is a super paint job, and you've got one of the awards, and uh, wish you the best of luck in this one. Kevin Cooper! So, 
So next man up then representing it, car race driving car one, four eight, it's Graham Kibble and uh, Graham certainly no stranger to the TSR showways, he's been here at Kingsland a number of times before and also raced uh, one of the midweek meetings this year at Skegness Stadium, we uh, extend him a warm welcome once again. Yes, and uh, Graham, uh, will this car uh, last a little bit longer than the Montego at Skegness? Probably not. Probably not, so um, you, you're representing your uh, track in Carace, Northampton, and uh, wish you the best of luck in this one. But are we crashing or are we uh, racing? Crashing, probably. Crashing, probably. I think there's quite a few people like when you say you're going to be crashing, so there you go. Give him a cheer, Graham Kiddle. So next man coming along then, another of the TSR qualifiers, and he certainly had a great run this year, the current Earthshaker champion, driving 879 and with a fine piece of Japanese tin to go with it, it's Rex Reg Reed. So uh, it's Reg, and it says Rex, is it going to be Rex at the end? You know it will. I know it will. So uh, you might not win it, but I think you might stop one or two others. I hope so, see what happens. So uh, we'll see what happens, he's always in the thick of it, one of the entertainers, Rex Reg. And we'll send uh, Reggie Reed um, on the parade. So next man coming up then driving 977 is Paul Scotland and it's uh, quite a while since I remember this driver racing in the unlimited bangers on a regular basis. So uh, good to see him uh, doing a few meetings this year and qualifying for the world final. I'm sure he'll be just happy to be here. And uh, Paul you used to race at the old Boston circuit, the King's Lynn circuit, not that uh, unsimilar to Boston, but uh, used to do it there, can you do it here today? First, first meeting this year. First meeting this year, so uh, how confident are you? Not very confident. <laughs> not very, he says. So we'll get him round, Paul Scotland in 977. So next man up and on grid position number 27, one of our speed with reps in this year's world final and another fine piece of Japanese tin, a Daxon 260C saloon there, it's 553 Justin Garman. So Justin, uh, nice uh, paint job there on the car and uh, I take it it's a crashing one around the racing one, is it? We hope so. <laughs> you hope so. And uh, first time here at Kingsley? Second. Second. Light circuit? Yeah, that's alright, yeah, that's good. Well, we wish you the best of luck today there. For Justin Garman in 553. So next man coming up then is number 65, Sean Randall, uh, a fairly uh, regular racer when he's not out there on the oil rigs in the North Sea. And 65, Sean Randall uh, bringing one of today's two Jaguar XKS cars. So uh, great effort there from Sean. We give him uh, our best wishes for the race. And uh, Sean, you brought the XJS, and uh, how confident are you with it? You know, just that wait and see. Yeah, they're normally uh, quite fast machines, but uh, are they fragile? Uh, this one is perfect. Uh, banana thing going to be too dry, but we'll just have to see. Well, we'll wish you the best of luck. Sean Randall in 65. Here. We wish him the best of luck with the axe on the top, Steve, Psycho Hemmings. So 
Thank you, mate. Coming up next, riding car number 312, having a uh, second great season here racing at TSR. It's a Turbo Tom Reynolds. And uh, Tom, uh, the head man, you've won the World of Shale Championship here. Can you add the World Final today? I'd like to think so. But then we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think you'll get to the stage, well, I'm not going to win it, and then you might decide one or two others might not. Yeah, if I can't, I'll definitely make sure it's the first time. Right, so he's an action man, definitely. Tom Reynolds won the hit, man, in 3-1-2. Uh, another of our small field representatives here at King's Lane, driving car 823. It's Mick Moore, and he's on the second row in good position, number three, for the uh, small field metal wrecker. Yes, he's the uh, Super Cup and champion, Mick representing Sam Lake, and uh, this man said I've got to mention uh, about what time you got to bed. No, it's three o'clock this morning. And what time did you get up? 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, so do you want some matchsticks then? I'll do some bed. <laughs> you need your bed. Well, uh, I'm sure you're going to go out there and give it your all. We wish you the best in luck in this one. 8 2 3, Mick Morrill. So next man up and certainly taking the furthest travel the world today in drop car number 225 representing West Wall Raceway all the way down there in Cornwall, it's Richie Edmonds. So Richie Edmonds 225, you're a long way from home, how long did it take you to get to Kingsland? Uh, about six hours. Six hours, first time here? Yeah, first time. Looking forward to it? Yeah, it should be good. And uh, have you raced on trail before? Uh, staying at building all, but it was pretty wet when I raced down there. So we wish you the best of luck in this one. Representing the West World Raceway, Rich Edmonds in 225. So next man up then driving in position number 14, it's Jack Overy. So a man who uh, doesn't like microphones, but one question for Jack, he's won this title before, can you win it again? Of course I can, he says. So let him see, let's see, driving, do the talking, six months in it, that's over it. So next one up then, representing TRI down there at Arena Essex, it's Mina Moody, 136 Clyde Williams, and what a fantastic paint job on that car as well. So part of the Ant Hill Bob team that won the icebreaker here this year, so no strangers to success at King Link Clyde Williams, immaculate car as always, can you do this one? Gonna try, very hard. You're gonna try very hard, but you might be one of those, that is a, a lot of the drivers out there, if you can't win it, you make sure one or two others can't as well. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. So another action man out there, Mean the Moody himself in the Immaculate Granada, Clyde Williams. <laughs> Next man up there, still racing in those blues voice colours from Stoke-on-Trent, one of the TSR qualifiers, it's 200, Steve New Farrell. So representing Skegness, an immaculate car as always, Steve, any fancy chances for the World Final? No, 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 no. We'll see how it goes, and another one, if, you, if I can't win it, neither can you, it's a bit like that, is it? Definitely, he says, so we wish you the best of luck, Steve Farrell, noon from the blues boys. So next man up and it's the first of the steam team representatives uh, to come through in this parade lap. Driving car number 172 from Peterborough, it's Andy Bonser. So Andy Bonser in 172, any fancy chances in this one? See what happens. Yeah, you took a few knocks here over the uh, over the years, but is it your turn to dish a few out? Well, just see what's in front. See what's in front and you may drive through it rather than round it. I do. I do. Keep your eyes on Andy Bonser. So next man up for the late entry representing in car race. Driving car number 262, it's Buster Goddard. So welcome to King's Lynn to Buster. And, uh, do you like the shale race, Buster? Ah, oh, shit on it. <laughs> it's no shale, it's not that what you just said, but... So, um, are you here for a crash, are you? I don't know, you can't talk about it, can you? You've got to do it. You go and talk about it, you just do it. So, wish you the best of luck. Buster God from there. Uh, in... So, next man up uh, one of the RDC promotion drivers qualified by winning today's last chance qualifying event. So, one, two, four, it's the run. Johnny Rookard. So, John, we ask you any fancy chances? Uh, not really, not one from the back. Not from the back, well, we wish you the best of luck there. You won the last chance race. John Rookard there in one, two, four. And another event of the uh, Shale regulars now racing with RDC promotions and another of those last chance qualifiers driving 753, it's young gun Billy Cunningham. So Billy Cunningham.
Jordan and one of the young gun drivers. The car was going well in the last chance there. Uh, couldn't keep any fancy chances from the back. I ain't here to win it, I'm just here to stop Team Black. Right, ah. Uh, but leg legally... Try to. Try to, uh. So uh, next mile for none of the last chance qualifiers and one of our uh, TSL drivers making it through in that last chance race. It's 776 racing for the Predators, Aidy Groove. So we wish you the best of luck, Aidy, and we had a word with you and you, you know you'll give it your best shot. Wish you the best of luck. Well, I'm not going to go for the race, I'm going to go for a crash anyway, so that's the main thing anyway. So you're going to entertain this crowd? So anyway, there you go, so we're wishing the best of luck there. 80 Groom in 776. So next man up then from the Rebels race team coming from Canuck in Staffordshire, it's 443 Dave Harvey and uh, certainly having a lot of uh, appearances here at Kingsland this year, one of our hardest working unlimited banger drivers. So Dave, any fancy chances? We'll see. Are you, uh, this car sounds nice and it looks a uh, nice car, so who knows? Well, you never know, but the lads will just know we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. We wish you the best of luck there. Dave Harvey in 443. So, next man up, a local driver and uh, current 1600cc banger goal roof champion, but focusing on the unlimited bangers for this year, it's 321, Andy Newton. So Andy Newton, you won the 1600 Banger World title, can you do the Unlimited? No, not this time. Not this time, and uh, so it's going to be a lively one out there, so where do you really fancy your chances? You hope for a top sort of three finish? Hope for a couple of laps, hopefully. Hoping for a couple of laps, that's the sort of race he's expecting. Which is the best of luck, Andy Newton. So, driving the second of today's Jaguar XJS is a what a beautiful car that is, as well, racing for RDC Promotions, it's Mazda 211, Barry Franklin. So, Barry Franklin in the uh, XJS, you've won races before in a Granada, can you do it in an XJS? Oh, I don't know, Jag, actually. You've won it in a Jag, not in a Granada, oh, I'll stand corrected on that one, but how do you fancy chances on the XJS? what happens, but it's a lovely paint job and a lot of time gone in there, so credit to your uh, crew. Yeah, thank you very much. No, well done there, wishing the best of luck, Barry Franklin, in 2-1-1. On the green, it's one of our CSR qualifiers and uh, took his first ever unlimited banger race win last night. Can he do it again this afternoon? Driving 563 from Yarmouth, it's Mark Sewell. So Mark Sewell in the Volvo, he's uh, won the two litre gold roof. Can he do the unlimited? I doubt it. You doubt it. And uh, what happened to the big gang that you raced? He didn't fancy bringing another one of those back. Not yet. Not perhaps not the race for it. No, not the right race for it. Not the race. There's one out there, so who knows? We wish you the best of luck anyway. Mark Sewell there in 563. So next up then, another of the steam team drivers. It's Mr. Entertainment himself in 163. It's Jeremy Nichols. So uh, one of the long-standing track star drivers. Jeremy, is this going to be your year? Don't think so. So I'll have a go, so we'll see how it goes, that's it. We know you'll give it your best, like you always do. Jeremy Nichols there in a, in a 163. So the next man coming up then is 811, Pete Winter, defending uh, world champion here at TSR. And uh, Pete Winter this year opting to start at the uh, back of the grid, so uh, we'll see how that does for his chances. So Pete Winter with the gold roof and uh, you're at the back this year, is that a bad place to be? No, I'd rather start at the back. And uh, the nice paint job on the car, so uh, will we see the gold roof there at the end of the day? How confident are you? Not very. Not very. Well, we wish you the best of luck anyway. The defending champion, Pete Winter in a 1-1. So, next man up then, another of the Smallfield representatives, it's current World Dirt Champion and uh, one of the stars of the show in the 1600cc bangers here last night as well, it's 91 Bart, that's Dave Barwick. So, Dave Barwick, known as Bart, he's already got gold on the roof of the uh, dirt track, can you do it from a shale track? I might do. I might entertain this one like I did last night. You might entertain, yes. You definitely put on a show, so uh, if you, you'll give it your best shot, but if you're out of the running towards the end, you'll take a few down with you, probably. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, he says. The Bart man himself, Dave Barwick in 91. 
So next man then coming towards us and uh,